hello everyone so welcome in the new video so in this video we will going to see the operation of pwm using nucleo 144 board so here you can see this is the top view and bottom view of nucleo 144 board so now first we will open this cube mx software in cube mx you have to select board nucleo 144 part number and then you have to simply click on the start project so now on this nucleo 144 board we have three different onboard leds are there so first one is it connected with the pb0 second is pb7 and third is pb14 so we will use two different PWM which are with this PB7 and PB14 and then we will generate different clock cycle, different duty cycle on these pins. So first of all, what is PWM? So here you can see I found one GIF on this link and you can see using this animation, you will get exact idea what is PWM and what we will going to see in this video so here you can see in our previous led interfacing experiment we use one and zero okay two different signal on gpio which uh, will turn on and turn off the led so one means continuous high zero means continuous low now instead of that we will use this type of square wave we will generate this type of square wave so here you can see as square waves positive cycle increase leds brightness increases and as positive cycle decreases leds brightness decreases so now you can consider our one with 100 percent duty cycle means if the positive cycle is continuously on then you can say it's a hundred percent duty cycle if the negative cycle is continuous on means there is no positive cycle then you can say it's a zero percent duty cycle and here you can see 50% means exactly square wave, 75% means positive is 75% and negative is 25% and this is how we will generate different clock cycles. So now this is the pin out. So first of all, we will clear all the pins. Now few things we have to set. First thing is we have to connect the crystal. So here you can see crystal is there. Now we have two different LEDs, two different pins, right? First is PB14. So on PB14, you can see we have timer four, timer 12, channel 1. So what I will uh, do is I will simply open the timer, timer 12. And on timer 12, you have to select this option, internal clock. Okay, there should be some clock with this timer. And here two, cha two channels are there. So on PB14, we have channel 2, here you can see, channel 1, sorry, yes, channel 1, okay. So I will simply click on channel 1 and you have to select PWM generation, okay. So here you can see with PB14, this channel is enabled. So now we will generate PWM on this pin and as you know, that one LED is with this pin. So we will see the brightness of that LED. Now our second LED is with PB7, I am talking about onboard LED. So here you can see the timer for channel 2. So let me open timer 4. Now here also clock source is there, so you have to select internal clock, right. And then uh, I think channel 4 is there, right. Channel 2 is there, so simply PWM channel 2. Now here you can see when I will select this option still this pin is not configured so there may be some another pin with the same name right okay so this is the pin so what we will uh, do we will simply click on pb7 and we will select this time 2 channel 2 timer 4 sorry time 4 and channel 2 okay so now you can see this is clear and this pin is selected so now our configuration part is finished we have connected crystal and on two different pin we have enabled the pulse width modulation so now 
simply generate the code here you have to give the name okay in tool chain you have to select arm version 5 and simply generate the code so now it will generate the code So it will take some time. And now we have to simply open the project. So it will open in Kale Microvision 5. So this is the project. Now we will write our code in main.c. So now here we will use different APIs. Okay, here you can see this is these are the handler of this timer 4 and timer 4 12 right so now we will use some apis so we will use only these two different apis of hal so first one is hal team pwm start so using this we can start the pwm okay on required channel and then using this set compare we can set the duty cycle okay so you can find this function in the driver okay so we will use this function these apis so first of all i will use this api now since this will start the pwm so we will write this outside of the while loop because it requires only once right to be to uh, so to set the to start the pwm so here you can see we have to use these two handler right so i will just simply copy this okay so this is the first handler is already there channel 1 okay because on timer 12 and channel 1 we have one pin one led and we i will simply copy this function once again and second time i will start timer 4 and channel Sorry, yes channel 2 okay so i have to write channel 2 okay so now this is the uh, starting of the pwm using these two line we can start the pwm now to set the duty cycle we have to use this apis right this function you can say so i will simply write this function two times first function will set the duty cycle for this channel uh, timer 12 channel 1 and second will timer for channel 2 okay now here i can write any duty cycle so what we will use we will do we will simply initialize one integer int okay i will give this name duty cycle and i will simply write for loop for duty cycle is equal to zero so we will start with the zero duty cycle less than 100 duty cycle plus plus oh sorry yes plus plus okay so now here i will add some delay let us say delay of 100 okay and now i will simply write different loop so this loop will simply set duty cycle start with the zero and goes up to 99 and now another function will do this same uh, means uh, it will generate this duty cycle in reverse order means initially it will be 100 percent and then slowly it will decrease up to zero okay so i will write greater less than or equal to and greater than or equal to zero and duty cycle minus minus okay and again there is a delay okay so this is starting this is ending this is for while one and this is for main one okay 
okay so this code will definitely uh, start the duty cycle on both the pin and it will simply generate different duty cycle on this pin in two different for loop first for loop will increase the duty cycle second will decrease the duty cycle okay so let us generate the code now here you can see hex file is created so now i will simply load this code and you have to make sure that you have to commenting you have to uh, you know comment these two lines right now i will load this code you can see the board this is the same board nuclear 144 and now you have to observe these two leds right so here you can see let's closely observe these two leds so slowly brightness will increase and then slowly one minute yes now from this view you can see reduce and again increase maximum and now in second for loop start with maximum slowly reduce become zero completely off again slowly increase so this is how you can use pwm here you can see we are using this led to demonstrate the same now instead of led you can use any device for example if you have servo motor then you can set its position by generating different duty cycle pulses on this pwm so this is what for today's video if you like my work then please like my youtube videos and subscribe my youtube channel thank you very much